The most famous is the EPR thought experiment, the Einstein-Podolsky-Rosen thought experiment. The EPR experiment is a bit tricky to get your head around. Imagine the glove in this box is a tiny quantum particle. Only this time, we've got a pair of particles, well, gloves. Now, we haven't opened the box or, or made any measurements of the gloves. So according to Niels Bohr, neither of these gloves knows whether it's left or right-handed. They're in some strange state, a kind of mixture of left and right. We can't know anything about these quantum particles, except that, like gloves, they have to come in pairs. But before they're observed, the particles remain in a strange, unknown state. OK, says Einstein, I don't believe it, but just suppose it were true. If I open one of these tins, we force nature to make a decision. Now, because the gloves must be a pair, the other glove must instantly become the opposite to this one. Its state is no longer uncertain. But how does this glove know when we open this tin? Can the gloves communicate? Maybe there's some special way we don't understand where they can send a message to each other. But even if that was true, the message can't travel faster than the speed of light due to Einstein's theory of relativity. But if we could open the tins at exactly the same moment, well, there'd be no time for the message to travel. Now, that's instantaneous action at a distance, and modern physics, because of Einstein's own theory of special relativity, doesn't allow that. So Einstein was pointing out that if you believe quantum mechanics is normally understood, you're believing something that's inconsistent with special relativity, and that just looks wrong. I said, this, Professor, I said, why don't, you, why don't you accept this? It works. It works so well. He said, yes, I know it works so well. But he said, Newton had a wonderful theory, which worked for two centuries, perfect, until I came along and I saw there were little things where it did not work so well. Well, so the fact that it, does, that it works so well is not a guarantee that it is the truth. The EPR thought experiment was Einstein's last and best challenge to the quantum theory. After 1935, he moved on to other things, but he remained unconvinced about the theory for the rest of his life, despite the efforts of Niels Bohr. It bothered him tremendously that he could never convince Einstein. It was a real aggravation to him. He felt that he had failed because he couldn't convince Einstein. Now, it was in some ways Bohr's great fortune to have such a formidable opponent because it forced him to make his language ever more precise. As the theory was refined, it became more and more successful. Despite the philosophical difficulties, most scientists just got on and used it. But the EPR thought experiment remained. Einstein's challenge was untested for nearly 50 years, but it was not forgotten. Thank you.